Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to PV County and uh, welcome back to extended version of uh, Wednesday shenanigans. Uh, if all should be well, then it's Thursday today. Uh, there's been a lot of requests that uh, these episodes gonna come out a little more frequent uh, because everybody seems to be playing this map and uh, it's very much appreciated on the channel. So of course I will do my very best to increase the frequency. Uh, last time out, we uh, we got our cells blowed through the uh, the shaft up here and uh, I've been using uh, quite some time to dig a little road through all this lovely ore and uh, we sold a lot of it hence we got six million so uh, it's pretty profitable and uh, well I think we got enough for the rest of the uh, of the rest of the series here and uh, that was quite a lot of ex explosive here and uh, yeah I still need to clean up a little bit However, the uh, idea was that we should continue uh, trying to reach the building behind the mountains here so we could start blowing up some buildings. And uh, I went down here and said, ah, let's go and no, there's no explosive trigger. Oh. So, um, is that an error? Nope. You have to attack this on the other side. So how, how are we going to do that? Well, this road leaves all the way around and uh, we can just drive around and start demolishing our way through this way. However, I thought we might take another approach. I thought we might build our first bridge. So we need to go back to the storage uh, facilities. And here we are. We got a truck loaded. We got a road train going on with uh, a lot of rebars rebars and yet more rebars and then we've got a concrete truck full of concrete <laughs> and then we got <laughs> we got dynamite <laughs> we got even more <laughs> uh, okay okay sorry sorry <clears throat> yeah I, I might have went a little uh, over, uh, overboard um, nah. we're not gonna use all of it of course we're not i don't think there's even that many buildings uh, on the <laughs> on the entire map, uh, but at least the two last ones here they are dedicated for the mines. Um, is that enough? I don't know. Uh, we used 22 explosives uh, just to get through the uh, the tunnel last time around. That's pretty much, and uh, there's a lot of tunnels, uh, so I think that's that's not even enough. Um, anyway, I would like to go down to start building the bridge or completing the bridge. Um, in this episode and um, yeah then I have plunked down some orchards here they're just running um, I'm still preparing I think they're running a little bit uh, we need to look into the lime and the herbicide things that's gonna be a little while uh, you can start the production by adding compost water and fertilizer um, lime I still need to wrap my head around that how we're gonna uh, get that going uh, herbicide that's a whole story another story we need charcoal and we need soap and uh, yeah that's down the production line but this adds oh, I, I can't remember the exact numbers but it's something additional with 300 units per hour you're gonna get for adding lime and then an, another additional 300 units for adding herbicide uh, so it's it's the bonus and I think it's five on oh, no, actually we can go in to take a look uh, I don't have to remember it by heart yeah, 300. Adding lime produces additional 300 pieces per hour. Adding herbicide produces another 300 pieces per hour. When all products are used, you get an additional 500 per hour for a maximum output of 1400 pieces per hour. So, add compost, water and fertilizer, 300 pieces per hour. So it's like 100% for each uh, ingredients you add for lime and herbicide. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, still we have apples set up and we got what is that bananas and we got cherries and what is it, olives yes I could set all 12 is a 10 or 12 up but uh, yeah now we just uh, have set up the four that the, f the four um, uh, fruits and uh, 
What is orchards? Uh, what is olives? Is that a fruit, vegetable? I don't know. Uh, four fruit, vegetable thingies that I like the most. So, there we go. And on the other side as well, we got four greenhouses. And that'll be uh, pumpkins and uh, strawberries and raspberries and watermelons, I think it is. Um, so, we can take a look at that a little bit later. Uh, just behind the orchards here. I've set up the gold mine because I'm looking into the um, the miscellaneous buildings and uh, on the other side of the uh, uh, the greenhouses we got the herbicide we've got a fertilizer and we've got the seed uh, production here we got the uh, there <laughs> we got the gold master that's uh, filled up with uh, clean fill water yeah needs to be emptied out and a lot of sand and uh, yeah it's totally full how about the water situation here that's also full so yeah just uh just ticking along nice and easy what is it 5714 units of is that gold or thing emitting here i think it is it is gold yes so even more money right uh what's the last one uh oh yeah i also set up a composter over at the the uh, greenhouses and yeah the shell the shell building uh, is also part of the miscellaneous, um, but we already had that going. So there was one thing I was looking for, and that was the cashmere storage uh, for the goats. Um, and I was looking and looking and looking, and I couldn't find it. And I thought, well, it's just me or something wrong. But no, actually, uh, it has been a part of the, uh, uh, the farm silo here, the farm storage. Uh, if you scroll down, it says here, cashmere storage. So, you put your cashmere wool in here from the goats. That's really nice to know. Uh, hadn't seen that coming, but uh, I thought I saw it somewhere. Um, and here it is. So, it's ready when we're gonna get some goats. But right now, uh, we're gonna start this convoy up. Uh, I'm gonna do something like, uh, oh, I've got so many things now. I need to put on F1, start the engine. And then we're gonna turn on the auto load and next one auto load auto load load should be all of them yes good and we're gonna get out and hopefully this is gonna work I'm gonna jump into you start you up and follow me on a look oh yeah it's because you're so far away um why don't you drive as the first one then? Oh, second. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. And follow. There we go. And then we're going to need the explosives gonna have the same issue right so you're gonna go first it's not that far well at least we don't have any traffic that we need to uh, be worried about not yet at least and back you up just nice and easy there we go and follow perfect and off we go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, big boy. Floor it. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, the follow me went a little, uh, went a little wrong. Uh, Vehicle started to driving circles, and when they're driving in circle, that means there's a mud conflict. So I need to check that out, see what's in the world is going on. Right, we're just having a little road blockage here. Uh, I have pre-planned a little bit, so we should almost have everything. There should be, yeah, we need three containers of uh, steel and three containers of rebar. Should be three, three, and then there should be enough concrete in the truck, so we all good to go. 
Uh, resources is 100,000 for each. I don't know if all the bridges take the same amount of resources, but uh, yeah, this is my first bridge, so uh, we shall see. Um, of course, there's a lot of traffic now. Uh, just yeah, just to pass. So let's start unloading the containers here. So I found out the best way to do this is just to sneak this way here. Oh, sorry. Something like this. And now we're gonna block the traffic. That's fine. And we're gonna you unload you there. And continue. Just like so. Shift. And like so. There we go with that one and last one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue now, eh? Why not? Um, yeah, well, let's see. There we go. Forward. I'm just gonna park you here because we need you over at the building site. Or the demolition site, because uh, there's some steel bars and some stuff we can need to uh, pick up with the flat bits. And yeah, 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 gonna move it. Gotta move it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're building this for you. So, just relax. We got the steel. And then we got the rebars. Come on. It's good we have the strongman mod. Not done. Yes, now you're done. Yes, look at that. And concrete. It's over there. Right. Really, really rude people around here. Yeah, making progress. Building bridges just for you. And you just honk at me? Yeah. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take to build this bridge, but uh, we shall see. There we go. If only in real life, right? Oh, there we go. Should be all fine, tickety boo. We can park you here. Don't need you. So, you're saying? Yes, 100%. And it's been started building. Let's uh, speed time. What is going on here? There we go. <laughs> Set you straight. Yeah. Right. Uh, this one is for all the gravel and the sand that's gonna be uh, generated when we blow up the buildings. And of course, the dynamite, the explosives. So yeah, now we just have to wait. Shall we take? Oops. <laughs> Shall we take a little flight? Hold on. So we can see the progress of the bridge something like this and it's time to move on go Some of it has been built. I was just getting worried. Didn't I? Did I miss something? Well, actually, I missed telling you some, something. What I forgot to mention is, uh, in order to be able to build the bridges, you need to own the government building, and that's the plot of land down here. So you need to have uh, 205,000 euros in order to build it. And let's uh, we go take a look at it. Can we? Yes, we can. Just do it like this. Yes. Visit. That's the government building, and that gives you. The government building, which gives you an excellent overview of the bridges and the bridges that you need to build should be the building is 
green. And the bridges you haven't built should be red. I don't know why there's no colors. Hmm. Strange. Well, we might take a look at that later. Onwards with the building. It has been built! Hooray! Now let's see if it works. Oops. Just put that here. Nobody, nobody see anything. Yeah, just... Uh, <clears throat> there we go. Let's put it on the bill. <laughs> right, let's go. See if we can find a building. Actually, I already found one. We hey, wonderful. Yeah, these uh, roads here and the curbs, they're just treasures. Just uh, try to avoid crashing into them, even though it's be mighty difficult. Right, let's go blow it up. Um, so what you need to need to have some dynamite and you have to walk around the building and you have to find the specific place where it needs to go. Uh, it will be some of the doors, I'm not quite sure where. Um, I am using a little cheat trick or a little tip trick that is a five and you can take a little look around to see where it is if you can't find it or if you're in doubt and I can see it's here so we're gonna bring our dynamite from over here somewhere gonna take one piece thank you very much turn you around slowly and run And I don't know if you've heard before, but once you place it down, that can go up to one minute because the global company script updates every minute. So if you place it down and we are really unlucky, we have to wait 30 seconds. And if we are really lucky, then we'll go one second. So let's just, just try it. Uh, yes. Very next morning, and no, there's nothing wrong. It's just me again, forgot to buy the properties that we need to do something on, because if we don't own them, we can't do anything. Why do I always forget that? Ah, uh, this one. Buy. I think it's gonna, probably gonna blow up now. <laughs> yes, and this one as well. Buy, yes. And that one there, buy, yes. All right, now it should work. Gonna say kaboom. Maybe not. We'll try it again. Ha 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 ha! There we go. Now it works. Hey, here we go. Look at that, huh? <laughs> yep. Remember to buy the property. Then everything should be all fine. Tickety boo. And I guess this is working as expected. Also, now yes. There we go pizza concrete steel stuff steel pizza hmm right um the flatbed we need the flatbeds there we go let me see i uh, just need to change this for the this one yes and we got what no that was the wrong one next there we go yeah so we only have one to drive around with so the the, uh, the steel beams here and the uh, snow steel beams, yeah, the steel beams and the, uh, the boards here or the uh, what's they called? Yeah, they're called boards. We can pick up with this one. Gonna jump on little wonky, but it works. I think you can use almost all settings. Um, you can use the setting long pellets to pick these boards up or wood beams. Yeah, and also the steel. We can have uh, 16 pieces. And you know it doesn't really matter, it's just to pick them up. You can do it by hand if you want to. 
Um, but let's just do it like this. 14, 15, 16. And you can just take him over here. So where you want to build your next factory. Then they are out of the way. We need steel, yes. And we need ports. Perfect. And we're just going to unload them. And it goes in as the building materials. And how much? Well, let's see. Just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny little bit. 3 and 5%. Well, that's going to count to something, right? Recycle. I'm going to change from explosive to stone. Just any stones? No. Single blocks. There we go. And drive around, pick that up. And there's no place to sell. Yeah, yeah. There's a place you can sell the glass. Uh, forgot where right now. I will find out later on. Maybe a little uh, text box has popped up on the screen. It's going to tell you where they can be sold. I think they're going to have a use for it in a production line later on. So you can get rid of it. And the blocks here you can use as building materials. Yep, there we go. Just, yeah, that's fine. And through here. There we go. 18 blocks. Right. Need blocks over here? Yes, we do. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Right. Let's get the glass. Oi. Shuck. Glass sheets right there. How many were there? One, two, three, four, I think. I counted. One there. Two, three, and one hiding. In between here. Four. There we go. Whee! Yep. Should be hardened the glass, I think. I've got three different kinds of materials. Sand, gravel, and what that is. That's why I brought three containers, or three... Uh, uh, three uh, thingy machines, yeah, things you know, these ones. Forgot what it's called. <laughs> and what is that? That's gypsum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> so how much was that? Thirty-three thousand units, almost thirty-four. Cool. And we can use this as in our national gypsum. That's excellent. I can't remember how much these uh, trailers can hold, but uh, hopefully all of it. And just like that. Let's see if it can fit. Maybe. Come on. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! Good. <laughs> Perfect. And got two pieces of glass hiding under the piles of good stuff let's get you over here and that's it now we got room for a construction facility let's go park you here so we can continue let's try one more building we can't afford that is that all of it is that the whole field 80 Really? Hmm. Well, that's no good. How about this building then? Oh, I've got to be able to blow that up. Yes. What's that? Value. Ooh, it's all our money. Well, uh, yeah, we got one million left. Right. And well, that's it. Better buy the, uh, the storage facility because that's gonna run out of money. I need to f sell some more ore, I guess. Now there's even room for it here. I hope so. Just, just about, just about. And like out this way out or the other way here. I think. Oh, I hope that's good enough. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> lost again. Ah! Right. And the usual stuff. Block, barriers, pavers, drywall, steel, pipes, rebars, boards, and concrete. Right. A little more manageable than, uh, than the bridge. Right. 
Uh, that building there. Okay, well. Yeah, we're here. Oops. There we go. Oh, yeah, you see? I <laughs> uh, just got blown my, uh, my butt off. Wow. Well, same deal, yo. Right, let me take care of that, and uh, I shall see you uh, down at the uh, greenhouses. Right, returning home after blowing up the second building, cleaned it all up. We got a full trailer full of sand, we got a full trailer of gravel, and uh, two-thirds full of gypsum. And I have put down some query silos. Oh, it's over there. For the same purpose, yep. And it's, yeah, the zoom width of this uh, truck is amazing. You can go really, really far up. And, uh, oh, yo, ho. There we go. Oh, the lag. We got so much good stuff here. Yeah, there's the same reason I placed these two uh, silo complexes here. Because I figure that we might need to store a lot of stuff from blown up buildings. And sure enough. Let's run over to the other side here. Gonna we'll take a look at the greenhouses. Right, the greenhouses. The same principle as the orchards. Uh, you get, uh, you can get the thing going with water and compost and fertilizer, and then you get a little buff for adding lime and herbicide. I think it's the same. Can we just? Go in here. No. No. Global company. Thank you. Uh, greenhouse. Just check any greenhouse. Open. Add compost and water. Start production. Adding fertilizer, herbicide, and lime will each increase production. Okay, it doesn't say how much. Um, but, however. This is not enough. It's not enough to add compost and water. No, 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 no. And fertilizer. You also need to add pellets. Because nothing has started yet. And we're going to do that. It's really... Ah, well, it's not that bad. So, uh, over here we got the composter. And it's running like a heavy one. I just filled it up with all the grass. A lot of grass and it might be empty yeah so we got a lot of diesel and we got 250,000 units of compost that's lovely so that's ready uh, this one here is the fertilized production it's the silo I have been using um, it got some grass in and it's got fertilizer ready I'll put the charcoal factory up here because I thought it was fitting near the sawmill and the, the forestry uh, factories and it's also being used for the production of herbicide and out comes charcoal and that needs to go into the herbicide thingy over where is it there here this one herbicide maker and uh, that needs soap and wine gear and that's further down the production line so we can't make that yet the seed maker it needs grain and fertilizer and yeah, there's many boxes, but I think this is the only one you need to concern yourself about. And the same goes for this one as well. And herbicide, I found out herbicide. It found out that fertilizer can either be liquid or solid, so you can use both. I uh, think that was it, right? Uh, the shell fuel, yeah, we know all about that. That's down there. It takes four kinds of input and silage sugarcane, sorghum, and corn, and it produces lovely, lovely fuel for us. We've got the composter, the gold master we saw before, we started blowing things up, and the seed and the herbicide and the fertilizer factor, what is the fur? oh yes, yeah, on the other side here, also for global company. There we go, same principle. Um, oh, there we go, where was it? Yep, water and materials and materials, that'll be silt, manure, digested and slurry. And I just started up silt. So in order to get the silt going, you need to own the property where you find these water plants. 
and I bought the one we got up here next to our explosive factories and uh, once you have bought it then you have to wait for it to rain and once it has rained the pond will be full of water and it will have been produced silt which you can use for for example the fertilizer production that's pretty awesome and now it's getting dark but that's fine I think uh, we have covered just about anything I will use the overnight to haul some pallets I should also get the flatbed from oh maybe if we should buy a second one but we got 700,000 mm, yeah maybe we should buy another flatbed if I go take this truck down to the shop and buy another flatbed then I think it should be should be fitting um all right see you tomorrow morning well I didn't go buy a new flatbed I just got the one we had down at the uh let's call it the construction site there's no there's no need to use too much money right um Well, that's something I need to look into, because I can see I'm getting uh, some income overnight and I'm not really sure where it comes from. Um, maybe the government building, <laughs> I'm not that sure. It's not much, it's a little bit, but I am a little bit in doubt what it causes, what it causes it. Um, yeah, so if any of you might know, then uh, please inform me. You can see uh, these are the, uh, the buildings that we have right now, or the plots of land. There we go. Hey, now it goes. See a little flashing light there. The next one. And up you go. Is that ready? Yeah, I remember the last season where we had to put pellets also. There was so many pellets and now it's a little bit easier than you using these cargo containers that's uh, amazing you need more we did uh do we need uh well maybe we need more i'm not sure let's see what's the last one it's over here right fine how much we got left uh oh 30 percent well that's perfect perfect right greenhouses are going orchards are going we got our first bridge built and we blew up two buildings we got a lot of materials in return that's pretty awesome it's amazing Right, I think we got covered everything I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope this helped you further in the game. And if you got input, tips and tricks, please let me know. Otherwise, I will thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, then please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye!